morning now, jury selection is underway for accused serial killer Clyde Gibson's final murder case. Gibson's trial starts in two weeks in Floyd County, but jurors will be brought in from Vanderburg County. That's two hours west due to publicity surrounding the case. WLKY's Marissa Alter has the latest from Evansville. Today is day one of jury selection, a process both sides hope to wrap up by Friday, though they have blocked off two weeks for this. When everything is wrapped up here at the Vanderburg County Courthouse, there will be 12 jurors and five alternates chosen. Gibson will go on trial for the murder of Stephanie Kirk, a Charlestown woman found buried in his New Albany backyard in April 2012. She'd been missing more than a month. Police made the discovery after they arrested Gibson for another murder, that of his mother's best friend. Christine Waitis. During questioning for that, police learned about Kirk and another murder. Karen Hodella's body washed up on the shores of the Ohio River near Clarksville in 2003. Gibson has since been convicted of those two murders, but the jury won't hear about them in this case. During jury selection today, potential jurors were all asked what they knew about Gibson. Some were aware of those other murder cases and immediately excused. Besides pretrial publicity, attorneys also asked potential jurors about their ability to serve on this jury and their views on the death penalty because this is a capital case. Now, nearly 300 potential jurors will go through this first round of questioning from now through Wednesday. Then on Thursday, seating will begin. We'll have a full wrap coming up tonight at 5 and 6. For now, reporting live from the Vanderburg County Courthouse in Evansville, I'm Marissa Alter, WLKY News. Thank you, Marissa. Gibson's trial begins in Floyd County in two weeks. That's on June 16th. Jurors will be brought in and sequestered. Gibson was sentenced to death for the murder of Christine Whitus.